This is the E-Flight RV7 Twin. It was built like this to make it a better FPV flyer. The twin motors get rid of any torque roll. The cameras give a clear view without the prop in the way, and it lightens the plane. It has a Matek F405 flight controller running INF6, with the ELRS long range system for RC control, and cameras for FPV. This is the cockpit camera view. I wanted to fly it using this view, but you really can't see out of it well enough to do it. I've seen videos on YouTube where they did, but the view is way too distorted. The computer checks are complete. We can arm. Let's go. Up and away. It has no trouble taking off. The twin motors and no torque roll mean you can basically floor it, pull up, and away she goes. It's the short takeoff RV7. This is the second flight and we're going to auto-tune the flight controller. This tells the FC how you and the plane fly and it adjusts it for the best results. When you see the plane move up and down and from side to side that's me moving it for the auto-tune. For FPV flying there is the on-screen display. At the top are the system messages. It's displaying auto-tune now. We see the horizon and setter crosshairs. The arrow always points home. Below that is the RC signal link strength. And from left to right are throttle position, battery usage, flight mode, airspeed, then the bottom line, altitude, satellite link, and finally flight time. The cockpit camera didn't want to record, and I wasn't happy with the way it worked anyways. The camera system will be improved on. With the auto-tune you are basically flying it around and getting it used to itself and how you fly. It's best to do in low or no wind conditions. This video was shot at sunrise at about 5.30. This is setting up all your controls like rate and expo. With iNav all the controls are set in the computer, you don't set up anything in the transmitter. So now we just fly it. Auto-tune is activated by a switch and once activated you just fly and after a few minutes of flight time, you then land and when you stop the plane it will disarm and your new settings will be saved. The plane flies nice and smooth now but when we are done it should be more responsive.
So we stayed a few mistakes high to see how it flies. Everything seems fine, so we'll try a little low-level flight around the track and then bring it in. I didn't like how I was lined up to land so I just juiced it. And up it went the way I wanted it to go. When you need power it's there for you and it stays very stable even if you panic and give it full throttle. We're coming in a little hot on this landing. Just making sure we don't stall. It has flaps and they are hooked up, but it really don't need them. We'll be playing with them later. But for now it lands fine. As we come to a stop it will disarm and tell us the highlights of our flight, like top speed, distance traveled and max g-force. Thanks for watching. More RV7 fun to come.